In today's real estate market, we aren't seeing the crazy bidding wars for the most part that we were a year ago or even six months ago. But if you're selling your home, it is still possible that you'll end up with multiple offers. And if you do, how do you evaluate multiple offers? That's the topic of this week's episode of Selling with Shannon. I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty in Long Beach, California. So one of the obvious things that you'll look at when you're evaluating offers is price. How much are the buyers offering you? But you'll also want to look at the other terms. Timing. Does the timing work for you? And does the buyer have flexibility if you need that in terms of potential rent back or uh, additional occupancy after you close escrow? And what about the other terms? Has the buyer asked for a credit, a termite clearance, a home warranty, appliances that maybe you didn't plan on leaving, um, furniture, patio furniture? carefully review all of the terms in the offers and then compare them so that you have an idea of what's different and what's similar about the offers. You're also going to want to look at the financial terms. What kind of good faith deposit or earnest money deposit is the buyer pledging to put into escrow? How much down payment will they be um, putting? And what type of loan? Is it a conventional loan, an FHA loan, a bridge loan? How well qualified is the buyer? Um, that's not going to be on the offer, but your agent can help research that information so that you have an idea of how solid the buyer's credit is, whether they're a W-2 employee or self-employed. Um, do they already have underwriting approval? Again, as you're evaluating offers, looking at the relative financial strength of one buyer compared to another buyer can help differentiate the offers. An additional thing to look at is the experience and the communication of the agents and the lenders um, who you'll be working with on the other side of the transaction. That can make a huge difference in having a smooth, successful transaction or a very rocky, difficult one. So one of the things that we do for our clients when we have multiple offers that we're reviewing is we actually prepare a spreadsheet so that we can review um, very easily with our clients the differences between offers if they are reviewing multiple offers. Then you can decide if there's one that you want to accept, maybe one that you want to counter, or if you want to counter multiple offers. And it's much easier to make those decisions when the information is easy to access and compare. If you're working with another real estate agent, um, you can absolutely ask them to put together a spreadsheet for you so that you can do that comparison. Uh, if you have any questions for us about the selling process, please feel free to reach out and let us know. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to check out the other videos in our Selling with Shannon series and like it, subscribe so that you don't miss out on our future videos. I'm also going to make sure that we include a link below so that you can access our Home Seller's Guide, which has lots of great information if you're thinking about selling your home. Thanks for watching.